Welcome back to Giants franchise. This one taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. They come in 10 and 6. They have Devontae Adams as well. So Trevor Lawrence has a really nice piece to throw to in this one. Daniel Jones has been superb this season. And looking to lock up a playoff spot or at least improve seating. I'm not 100% sure. This game doesn't really let you know if you've made the playoffs or not made the playoffs. So it's kind of a mystery. So the only way to sort of take the mystery out of that is to get a win here. So early on here, Daniel Jones steps back. Going to find Kenny Galladay. Breaks one tackle. Breaks two guys off. And then gets brought down at the 43. Really nice play right there. After the catch for Kenny Galladay. So now first and 10. Daniel Jones setting up the screenplay here. Gets some good blocks. Is CJ Verdell. Cuts it back inside. And picks up the first down. Come back here. Now a third and six. Shotgun formation. Jones going to throw this one. Oh boy, that was maybe a little too far to the outside. So instead, the Giants going to settle for three points here on this one. And then out would come one Trevor Lawrence. And this Jacksonville offense has been high powered most of the season. Second and ten. Quick throw right there. Going to find the tight end. Blake Martinez gets the tackle. But Farrell going to pick up the first down. So now first and 10 again. Play action. Look at this. Throw on the run from Lawrence here. A broken tackle again. Two broken tackles. Finally gets shoved out of bounds. But right now Trevor Lawrence is cooking. Second and inches. Here's Aiden Hutchinson coming to say hi to Trevor Lawrence. As he brings him down for his 12th sack of the season. So now third and eight. Hutchinson with the pressure. But... Lawrence just able to get this one off in time to the running back underneath and pick up the first down. So this first drive here for the Jacksonville Jaguars really lasting a while and it's somewhat being fruitful. Here's just another wide open guy right here as he gets a big hit right there but still picks up the first down, holds on to the football. So now second and seven, Lawrence throws it again, going to find his man underneath. That's Marvin Jones Jr. coming up with the catch. So now first and 10 again. Lawrence going to step back. Throws this one to Devontae Adams. There's the Adams' first appearance of the game right there. He comes up with that one. So first and goal. Where do you go? If you're Trevor Lawrence, right there. Devontae Adams. And uh, yeah. Coming to this game, that was probably the one matchup you really worried about. Was what was Devontae Adams going to do to this secondary? So now here comes Daniel Jones. He gets a chance to respond, throwing the run to Marvin, or not to Marvin, to Kenny Galladay. And there is a first down for the Giants. So now second and 12. Daniel Jones looking, navigating the pocket. Just going to take a shot here. That's almost picked off and caught at least a few times. So now third and 12. Jones throws this one up. It's Billingsley. He comes down with it. Touchdown, Giants. What a play right there. Daniel Jones making it happen deep down the field. And I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Early in the season, the, these, the just Giants team, they weren't making these sorts of plays. Billingsley has really stepped up with Robert Tunyon out for the rest of the season. So now second and nine. Here's Darnay Holmes just misplaying that one right there. As Jones is able to pick up the first down and then a bunch of yards after the fact. So now the Jaguars is going to come back again. First and 10. Going to be a little shovel pass here to LaVisca Chenault. And he's able to pick up some nice yardage right there. And the first down. Jaguars keep driving. First and 10 now. Lawrence on the run. Throws cross body. Devontae Adams comes down with it. Then shoves down whoever 33 is. I believe that's Aaron Robinson. So now first and goal. Trevor Lawrence here. Under formation. Empty set. Throws it. Going to find his tight end, I believe that is. And he just leaps right into the end zone. Don't tell me that's Evan Ingram. Don't tell me this is the Evan Ingram revenge game. I hope not. Either way, it's 14-10 Jaguars right now. 
This Giants defense can't get a stop. Jones going to throw this one on the run to Galladay again, making another big play. They've been playing Galladay a little more underneath in the slot route, and that's really been helping this offense out. So now Jones again, going to throw this one here. This one's to C.J. Verdell. He makes a nice play in the passing game right there. Very versatile player so far for this Giants offense. He's opened up a new wrinkle for him. So now here's first and 10. Daniel Jones, he's going to find a wide open C.J. Verdell. Verdell was just left wide open out there. I don't know if they thought he was just going to be like some sort of decoy or what. But no one was on him. So all Daniel Jones had to do was set his feet and just deliver a decent enough ball. And Verdell just walks right into the end zone. The Giants retake the lead now, 17 to 14. And once again, here is Marvin Jones Jr. breaking a tackle. Darnay Holmes having a rough one out there today. Just a rough, rough game for him. It's now second and five. Trevor Lawrence going to throw this one right there to LaVisca Chenault. He's going to pick up the first down. A stop or something would be pretty nice right now if you're the Giants. Once again, Lawrence just quick throw right there over the middle. Picking up the first down. Already up over 200 yards through the air. So now first and 10. Here's Lawrence on the run. On the run, throws it. And there is Devontae Adams, who's going to get dragged down at the four. So the Jaguars are going to come back now, first and goal. Lawrence stops, throws it, and there is just no one on that running back right there. Robinson just walks right into the end zone. And the Jaguars retake the lead as we almost close out this first half. So here is... Daniel Jones going to find C.J. Verdell underneath. 26 seconds left. Can they get a score before they head in to the locker rooms? Here's Jones looking. Going to take the underneath route to Verdell again. There's four guys chasing after him. So first and goal at the 8. 14 seconds left. Daniel Jones making some adjustments at the line. Now he's going to run for it here. He's just going to keep it himself. Runs in, splits the defense into the end zone, goes Daniel Jones. His 10th rushing touchdown of the season. And if you don't account for his legs, you're going to have a bad time. I'm not sure what that one defender is doing. He sort of just stopped, went back the other way, then realized, wait a minute, Daniel Jones is running into the end zone. So, 24-21, third and six now, Daniel Jones. Remember what I just said about his legs? You have to account for him. The Jaguars, they don't keep anyone in to even spy on him, so he's just able to take off, run, and pick up a big, massive chunk of yards. I said big, massive chunk of yards. Second and four. Now a play-action play right here. Daniel Jones, he just keeps it himself again. He's going to get tackled down at the four by Overshow. Overshown. That's a weird name. First and goal. Handoff here. CJ Verdell splits the defense again. In goes CJ Verdell for another rushing touchdown on the season for him. And now the Giants, they take a pretty nice lead here. Going to be 31 to 21, I believe. And Verdell gets low before he can get crushed by the def defense right there. So now Trevor Lawrence. Going to have to answer back here. Going to throw this one. Going to find Marvin Jones Jr., who is just having a heck of a game. No one can really stop him right now. I think we know where this team's going to have to really improve for next season. So here's Lawrence again. Just another wide open LaVisca Chenault. Darnay Holmes, I don't know what he's doing out there. Moving him around, trying to see where he can maybe get a favorable matchup. and doesn't appear to be anywhere. Here's Leonard Williams with a sack and a fumble, but... I don't, I'm not sure what the defense thought. They thought he could advance the ball or something. But either way, it's a sack. Third and 11 now. Trevor Lawrence on the run here. He's going to take off. Julian Love going to put the fear of God into Trevor Lawrence and make him uh, just slide down here. The Jaguars are going to settle for a field goal, right? Well, no, because that one is going to be missed. Not sure how he missed that one. That looked like a pretty easy one to make. Now here's C.J. Verdell in the open field. Tries to, gets the edge a little bit. Tries to cut back inside. 
and then gets tackled down as my phone goes off as tr is tradition when I'm recording a video. Let's mute that. Okay, so there's Billingsley. Makes a nice play right there. Picks up the first down. And that's the end of the third quarter. So fourth quarter now. Daniel Jones trying to th run here, and that's almost intercepted. So the field goal unit, they're going to stay on the sideline. The Giants are going for it here. Daniel Jones, he's just going to throw this one here to Kadarius Toney, who gets stopped just short of running into the end zone. Alec Lindstrom, he would come up. I believe it was just a shoulder sprain. Daniel Jones throws this one. Kadarius Toney comes down with it. Touchdown, Giants. They extend the lead here, 38-21. to So Trevor Lawrence, he needs to get it going here. Throws, he takes a hit from Aiden Hutchinson. But he gets the ball off just in time, and they pick up the first down. Travis, I believe that's Travis Etienne picking up that first down. So now first and ten. Lawrence throws this one to the back of the end zone, and Madden wouldn't let me try to pick it off because I'm not sure if you're aware of this. Madden is not a good, good football game. I was hitting triangle to pick that ball off. The game just said, yeah, no. So 38-28, ensuing kickoff now. Here is Reggie Robertson, Robertson Jr. Look at this. Get some good blocks here. And he's in the open field at the 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown. He takes it to the house. And the Giants answer right back immediately. Reggie Robertson Jr., the rookie. Final game of the regular season makes a big play. And there's Trevor Lawrence getting sacked by Aiden Hutchinson bringing him down sack number 13 on the season so now third and 21 Lawrence throws this one gonna find his running back right there who breaks a tackle because it's Madden and they always break the initial tackle in this game so fourth and 12 coming up now for the Jaguars Lawrence here has to get it here to sort of keep this game alive gonna get pressured here from Hutchinson Throws it a little too early at Dory Jackson. Just out of reach for the interception. And that is going to do it in this one as the Giants are going to win here in Week 18. They beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. Final score in this one, 45-28. So we got stats here. Daniel Jones had a very good game, 21-30. 329 yards, three touchdowns, pretty nice. C.J. Verdell, 19 carries, 83 yards, and a touchdown. And uh, Dan Jones had a rushing touchdown as well. C.J. Verdell, if you remember, we had a breakout opportunity for him, and I think we got it. I believe it was 150 yards and a touchdown. I believe it's 150 yards total. So he has 123 receiving and like 80 rushing, so that should get it. Uh, defensively, we actually got pressure in this game. Aiden Hutchinson with two sacks. Leonard, William, Leonard Williams with a sack. No interceptions, no turnovers or anything like that. And Reggie Robertson Jr. with our first. That might be the first return touchdown of the series for us, I think. I could be wrong on that, but pretty sure that's the first one we've had. So nice to actually get decent blocking on one. And able to, uh, yeah, take it back to the house. It was pretty nice. Got upgrades here for Andrew Thomas. And we're just going to go power again uh, for him. Once again, my goal is to get that offensive line to run block better, I think. Just really, that's what we want to do. Um, want to be able to run the football. I think that's really important. So, Ekam Aquano, We're going to go with pass protector again for him. Uh... I still want to get him better at that before we can focus purely on uh, run stuff for him. So there's that. But either way, nice upgrade for him. He's had a hell of a rookie season. So breakout looks like it's going to be successful. Uh, so he is now star development. And he will progress a little bit faster, which is pretty nice to see out of a UDFA guy that we just sort of picked up midseason. And 10,000 XP. So we make the playoffs and we're going to be taking on the Seattle Seahawks, the winner of the NFC West. I was pretty, I thought we were probably going to play whoever won that. And uh, yeah, so they win the division at nine and eight. 
Cardinals 7 and 10, Rams 7 and 10, 49ers 6 and 11, they all miss out on the playoffs. Take a look at the entire NFC playoff picture. Uh, Falcons and Buccaneers make it at 8 and 9. So, uh, you know, we do have a better record than a division winner. So that's something we can sort of hang our hats on for a little bit because well, now we got to prepare for the game. And let's get those upgrades for CJ Verdell. We're just going to go elusive back here. He gets plus two awareness juke move. Hoping for a speed or acceleration upgrade here. And we kind of aren't getting that. We just get awareness plus two again. So we're going to try it again here. And I think we just get another awareness. Now we get uh, vision, change of direction, and spin move. So uh, pretty bunk upgrades. I don't want to say trash, but yeah. Um, spin, uh, his spin move is up to a 76 and he has a, uh, 83 juke move. So maybe we'll be able to make guys miss a little bit more. And then Zion Johnson, we're gonna go with power for him. Once again, want to get that run blocking a lot better. So that is a pretty nice upgrade for him. I would say plus two run block power is pretty nice. And that is going to do it for us, I think, in this episode. It looks, looks everything looks pretty good. Looks He's developed pretty nicely this rookie season. Um, I like seeing that. And, uh, yeah. So, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. We made the playoffs. I didn't, it didn't look like we were going to make the playoffs when we were sort of around the midseason mark when I sold off and I traded a bunch of guys, but... Uh, I don't know. Ever since that Green Bay game, we've been really good. So going to take on the Seahawks and whatever happens, happens. I want to thank you guys for watching this series. Thanks for watching the channel. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.